Something that I don't think we talk about much in the world of electronic music is the lack of good albums nowadays. I can recall countless of my favorite EDM albums from many years ago, from both Random Access Memories and Discovery by Daft Punk, to Worlds by Porter Robinson, to True by Avicii, to Untrue by Burial, to Immunity by John, Co John Hopkins, and Good Faith by Madion, and so on. These are a handful of some of the best popular electronic albums in my opinion, but they're all relatively old now. I don't feel like many artists make meaningful electronic albums anymore. That you can tell has a story and a journey that progresses through the album, you can tell the artists poured their heart and soul into. There are some exceptions of course, which I'll also talk about later. But I want to listen to meaningful electronic music, art created by the producer or the musician, not fulfilling some labels wish, a club venues wish, a trends wish, or even the artist's own audience's wish. Because a musician should always be making the music they truly want to make, the music that comes straight from their heart. And ironically, this is also when others start to enjoy and resonate with the music and the artist. But I'm not entirely sure why we're seeing this. Maybe it's because that a lot of electronic music has been co commercialized with the record labels pushing for specific styles and trends and limiting the artist's own creativity. Maybe it's the fact that both artists and labels think it's too much of a risk to release albums anymore and think it's just a safer option to go with a single. Maybe it's the fact that when you're playing shows, gigs, events, it's easier to put out single after single, really churn them out and always have something new and ensure that you stay relevant. But I don't really know actually. But what I do know is that all of these reasons stem from either money or fear. And I really think that if EDM or electronic artists started making the music that they truly wanted to make, started telling stories through albums that other people could create memories to, it would benefit everyone, from the consumer to the artist himself. And it's actually easier to do so nowadays. With the ability to build an online presence, an online brand, you can now completely ditch the middleman or the label and go directly to the listener or the consumer. You can be yourself and create your meaningful art, share that to the world through social media, and then attract the listeners and the audience that truly just love you for who you are and love the music for what it is. And I personally think that going independent is the way nowadays. I would still say there are some of the bigger electronic artists that do make good albums and that aren't just making music that are pretty much club formulas. And some of my favorite of these are Fred Again and Tourist. I especially love Tourist and I know he's got an album coming out very soon, which I'll definitely be listening to as well. I just admire the real rawness to his music. It's not some commercial formula with a re-space in the break and an overshadowing hook um, with some tech house or slap house or stutter house drop. It's textured songs which have emotions to them. I'm also making this video because the feelings and thoughts that I'm explaining to you guys have also led me to create an album myself. It's probably out when you're seeing this, it's coming out on the 24th of March and I'm super excited for it. I'm not trying to claim my album is revolutionary or anything but I know it's the music that comes straight from me and is meaningful to me. A few of the tracks on the album are ones that I've made from scratch for production videos on my YouTube channel. So if you enjoy those kind of videos on my channel, then I think you might like the album. Of course, I want people to like it, but I don't care too much about the reception of the album itself. Because the original music that I make, I make because I love it and because I want to express my creativity through it. I'm focused both on my original music and my original work for my own sake, and then on these production videos and helping teach and inspire other producers to create their own meaningful music. If you like it and you want to listen to the album, then it's just a bonus. That's it for this short video. I really hope that if you're an electronic artist yourself, that this could inspire you to create a longer body of work, a real piece of music that you can share to the world, even if it means that it's going to be slightly harder to promote. Because I know you'll also have way more fun and an album will mean way more to you than one single ever could because you get to tell a story through your music that has a journey and a progression, and it's something so amazing. If you wanna check out my album, it'll be linked in the description, and there's also a little snippet to one of the tracks at the end of the video. I've also just launched a paid community where there's monthly samples and presets, the project files of every single track that I make for my YouTube videos from scratch, in-depth and constructive feedback, live streams, and so much more. If it sounds interesting to you, it's explained in more detail in the link in the description. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you next time.